Masochistic. So, um, yeah, here's chapter two, I suppose. Uh, let's, let's begin. It can only get better from here. Hopefully, oh god. Alright. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight. This is fucking Winston Churchill. Oh, oh just skip it. Chapter two Task Force is born. Dwight had come back from his successful drug takedown, but he was the only survivor of the battle. Don't think it was that successful, mate, but alright. <laughs> yes, indeed, girls. I didn't save my own, but disappoint Dwight disappointingly told the girls. What happened? Peach tried not to cry. Dwight explained the tragedy. We were on a mission on the outskirts of the Mushroom Kingdom. We took out a drug deal going on. Oh, it's, it's so hard to take seriously. I checked the door, I checked the door, but then an ambush was signalled. I fought with a lot of might, and I was the only survivor about with the Germans. What did he even do? I do not remember him do, actually doing anything in the last chapter, apart from just being there. <laughs> I'm not reading that, oh, I'll read it. No! Peach and Zala cried over the loss of my length and burst into tears. Samus sank her head in sadness. It will be alright, gals. Gals? Okay. Bright told the saddened Mushroom Kingdom princesses. Nope. Nope, that's... Uh, I'm already mad. Zada's not... Oh, never mind. Peach sniffled and said, How? What do you mean, Bright? Bright closed his eyes and said, Girls, Full stop, I guess. I thought I had every confidence Mario would get the job done. We got in there, but I came back. But now I phoned Cole Hargrove about an all girl task force. <coughs> I'm sorry. Men will be in HQ while the girls are in the field. If you work to them together, we can save, save the male smashers and maybe the and maybe the free world. Alright. The speech got the girls better. Apparently it did, alright. The, princ the princesses smiled and so did Samus. We'll, s we'll start it all here in, in this mansion. Samus asked. Right nodded. That's supposed to be two separate things, but alright. Just then, Bright's cell phone went off and he answered it. Hargrove? The OS... The OSS Colonel's voice said, Alright. <coughs> no, that's not a comma. Alright, I'm in the mansion's front yard right now. The boys at OSRD helped find some girls for our task force. Bright, Peach, Zala, Samus, and Samus right, head outside and see Cole Hargrove with a group of women behind him. Oh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> oh. Oh, it's just a wall of text. It's just a wall of text listing off names again. Oh. The female group is Daisy, Rosalina. Oh, hey, I guess he predicted those two. Six years ahead of time. Well, seven, actually. Yeah, seven years ahead of time. Oh, no, Rosalina was... Three years? Uh, what's the point? I don't care. Midna, Rutu... Ruto, Naburu, Dixie Kong, Tiny Kong, Ayumi, Takibana, Crystal, Fur Phoenix, Kate, Cat Monroe, this is just all it is. Palutena also predicted that one. Jody Summer, Kate Allen, Miss Arrow, Misty, Daisy, Violet. Daisy. He's listening to Pokemon characters at the moment, I don't know who this Daisy is. Violet, Lily, Cynthia, Phoebe, Flannery, May, Judine, Candice, Maylene, Lyra, Leaf, Dawn, Gardenia, this is stupid, Greta, Cheryl, Solana, Kate, Delilah, Ketchum, okay, Caroline, Joanna, 
Lower the Shiku said. La 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 be. Oh, this is fucking hell. Minami, Whitney, Claire, Adeline, Ribbon. Lim Mc. Oh, Jesus. Mikaya? Mikaya, sure. Miss Titania, Alincia, Mia, Nafini, Lef, Laya, Sanaki, Sigun, Marcia, Nothing. Laura, Lucian, <laughs> this is stupid. Nyla, Heather, Meg, Jill, Sheena, Paula, Castro, S, Minerva, Norn, Athena, Midia, Elise, Lena, Florina, 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 Florina. I've lost my way. Uh, Vida, Farina, Carla, Rebecca, Louisa. I don't know who half of these characters are. God damn. Nina, Lilin, Lilina, Fanny. That's literally what it is. No, that's that's Tani. Tani. Ah, uh, stupid. Fuck. Tate. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Tate. Oh Jesus. Juno, Fur, Chloe, Sue, Melon. Melody, Geneva, Wendy, Dorothy, Kath, Lalam, Neem. Oh, God's sake. Silic. Cecilia, Grunya. Patrine, Paula, Posty, still going. Kuma. Kumatora. Oh, hey! Kumatora, that sounds familiar. Kumatora. I'm blanking right now. Meryl Silver, Olga Gelukovic, Manon Baptiste, Amy Rose, Rouge the Bat, Blaze the Cat, John Lee, sorry, Sakura Kasugano, Cami White, Rose, Ibuki, Makoto, Mai Shiranu, Blue Mary, Lee Zing Fei, Atari Futaba, Taki, Sion Mina, Shai Tiang Hui, Sophita Alexandra, Cassandra Alexandra, <laughs> okay. Setsuka, Isabel Ivy Valentine, Isabella Ivy Valentine, Valentine. <coughs> Still going. Serena Tsukino, Amy Mizuno, Ray Hino, Lita Kino, Nina Aino, Rini, Amara Tenno, Michelle Kai, this is painful, Tristan Maya, Hatau, Amo, Cinder, Ember, Bianca, Sheila, Frau Bo, Sailor Mouse, Sailor Mass, <sighs> Mirai Yashima, this is too many fucking copies we make, this, this is just too much, Mirai Yashima, Christina McKenzie, Emma Sheen, Fa Yuri, that's not how to say that, I don't care, Lina Ashton, Roops, Rouse, Rouse, Luca, Elpia, Peru, L, Niano, Kaira Soon, Shang Nagi, Rain, Rain, Mika, Mika Moore, Ellen B, Ellen B, B and C, Nami, Nika Robin, Nika Robin, Sano Sunba, Nefertari, Vivi, v Vidal, 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 Android 18, alright, Han, Sako, Haruno, Ino, Namanaka, Tamari, Tenten, Hinata Hyuki, Hanabi, Hanabi, Hayuga, Granny Chiyo, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sunade, Sunade, Shizun, Anko, Mits, Mitarashi, Kurena Yush, Yui, Sun Shang Zhang, Jesus Christ. Tiho Chan, we're almost there. Zen G, Dag Kiao? Zhao Kiao? Yu Ying Zing Kai Oiki <coughs> Ginchio Takibana Ina Kai Din Kuno Ichi Gracia and Aya. This is not how you write shit. You don't you don't do this. You don't do that. <coughs> Please do not go through them. Hmm. What a fine bunch of people, Hargrove. Right of mine. Nephany turned to Petra. I don't know who any of these characters are. 
they're 15 stones of their tree, then they growled at each other like they were going to kill each other. Hey, Bright said to them. Why the hell would I want to work with her? Nephew pointed at Petrini. I assume whatever bloody thing they're from, their rivals and that. I don't know, there's too many characters to keep track of and too many I can be bothered to look up. Although Kumato is ringing the bell and so is... Nico Robin. But that's not the point. Actually, I can just do that right now. I'm trying to do it on my phone while I'm looking at this. Uh, Katrina asked, wouldn't that stain my name to work with her? But I told everyone, we know that the Crimeans hated Patrine in the past and the ones from Alicia hated Brunya. I know that Taki hates working with you, Ivy, but we're going to need to help. We're going to need help on this. I'll go overdressed. By the way, Patrine, Brunya and Ivy are very dangerous, so if they try to escape, don't hesitate to take any of them down. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. If they try to just es escape, kill them on the spot. Alright. <clears throat> Wendy rubbed the back of her head next to Crystal. Wendy? Wendy? Oh, don't care. Uh, where was I? Must be a pain not to work, not to be with bores more often now. Crystal said in a British accent that was as British as Hargroves. If that's Crystal from the Star Fox series, is it? No, so that. <coughs> I mean, I haven't heard the voice in a while, but <clears throat> is she British? It might not even be that crystal, but who cares? <clears throat> uh, oh. This must be why it. I'm getting distracted. I don't care. I've checked out. This must be must be why Hargrove there called me. The OSS Colonel walked to Crystal and said, "You gone? You gone?" You've you've gotten to know me on the way to the mansion. Good. Yeah, this is Crystal. This is Crystal stuff was. Worried about Fox while he was in the last Smash Bros tournament. Crystal nodded. Uh that will be here. Oh yeah, it's um uh, Kumatoro, it's the uh one of the characters from the Earthbound Mother series. Oh, okay, that's why I'm running well. And also there with me here. If Nico Robin is who I think it is, you can tell I'm not interested at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nico Robin from, um, uh, oh, what's it called? One Piece, yes, okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, anyway. Um, <coughs> Crystal was shocked and... No, I'm completely different. Then Bright said, Try not to fear for him or get into in tears. But your boyfriend Fox was taken by the Germans as a trophy. Boyfriend? I don't think that's kind of... Crystal was shocked and said, What? You mean captured? Yes, that's, that's what taken means. Bright nodded. Mist was confused and asked Hargrove, Mist? Who's Mist? Was he misty? There's so many characters I went through. I don't know at this point. Uh, what's the plans for tonight? <coughs> Maybe a game of cards? Hargrove told her. No cards or toys. There will be a meeting at dinner tonight. Toys? Great address. Hargrove explained to you all there will be a meeting at dinner tonight. <coughs> Ho. Ho. What? Ho. What? It's just H double O A H. What is that supposed to be? Who are? The girls nodded. Okay. Enjoy some free time before the deal starts tomorrow night. Bright now announced. The girls cheered. This would be a glorious day indeed, for God's sake. <laughs> the next day in Fox's room in the Smash Mansion, I guess just everyone has a bloody room in themselves. That's a bloody big ass mansion. Yeah, after all, makes, makes sense. Crystal is getting her stuff unpacked, even her trusty staff from the Coney of Ser Serenia. Oh, God damn. Passed down from her father. Father and Cat and, and agreed with the. What? Father and Cat and agreed with the Vixen. Vixen. 
to keep her company in a room as roommates and friends. Uh, I think cat sounds familiar. Oh, oh I don't care. Just that the scratches are heard. The door opens with revealing Cinder and Ember. Then it turns out I'm gonna assume it's Cinder from the Spyro series. <coughs> I don't know about Ember though. Hi, uh, Crystal. Cinder greeted. Crystal. Yeah, that, it, it is just Cinder and Ember from the Spyro series. Crystal smiled to the purple dragoness. Dragoness. Purple dragoness. Dragon? Oh, it's just. I don't know who Ember is. And a pleasant good afternoon to you too. Say we were. Say we were in conflict over Spyro for his love. Say. What? Ember is a dragon, okay. I don't know, I didn't play the Spyro series. Say we were in conflict over Spyro for his love, Ember said. Cinder held her front leg up, and Fox and Pam were fighting over who would love you. What? Where does all this come from? What? Ah! Oh. Oh. Why am I doing this? Um, ah, oh, yeah. Cat had a how the first of Falcon to Ember Falcon Falcon. What do you mean? Cat held a fel photo of Falco to Ember. Oh, I know who Cat is. Never. Uh, at the spa Hargrove picked me up from. I asked him about Falco. He said he was taken hostage. Far aside as she, as she on the. Okay, word for word. Far aside as she on the bunk that was Falco's until he was captured. Yes, indeed. She was in her bra and panties. Is it far? No, where's far? Where's far in all this? Who the fuck is far? She wants Star Fox? Members? If so, I mean, she's an animal. Oh, I'm. I'm for the wrong fight. Oh, I don't care. Well, I was in love with Fox first. What the fuck? He cherished me and I would l make love to him and I would make treats for him. Then the Fennec jumped down from the bunk to join her blue Serenium Vixen friend. Serenium? I don't know. Wonder if you could. Wonder if you could, ladies. What? Wonder if you could ladies could feel for our lovers right now. Oh, please. If you're ever going to publish anything, proofread it. I can understand missing one or two ma mistakes in something that has loads of chapters I've seen already, like 10 chapters or whatnot. I can understand missing one or two, but there are loads of mistakes in this. Like, holy shit. Ugh. Where was I? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Send the last crystal. As long as you dragonesses fill for Fox and Falco. He's gonna have dragons like. Um... Oh, wait, no! Oh, God, no! I've just realised what it's building to, and no! Fuck, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Beast Jersey, we're gonna get into that now. I suppose it's not Beast Jersey because they're all animals, but. Oh! Okay. The ladies get fear. The Cinder and M. The Cinder. The Cinder and Ember watched as Crystal slipped off her flight suit. Oh, gee. Oh, I am going to go and Even though news. Cat Toke? Toke? Alright. Cat Toke off her flight get up and the pink feline was naked. I'm not making any mistakes, I'm just reading it as it is. And the pink feline was naked. Pink feline? Uh, I don't know the Star Fox series too much, I shouldn't be questioning any of this. <coughs> Far undid her bra and then panties. Far? After the ladies were nude, Crystal sat on her knees. Can I ever feel my. Feel me like my foxy does, Crystal Justice Cinder. This is so weird. I. Oh god. Mm. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. All right. The purple dragon has walked over and put her front feet on to each of the vixen's breasts. Crystal moans softly as if feeling fresh air. What the fuck? As if feeling fresh air. What? Mmm, so good. Feel it, Crystal smiled. I'm massively uncomfortable right now. Cinder massaged her hands up and down the cerulean. Cerulean? Cerulean! He can't even keep it consistent. Cerulean? Oh, cerulean folks is best. No, no, cerulean won't make sense. I think cerulean's a type of blue. I don't know, I'm bargaining at this point. Cinder felt happy at the fact that her hands were even on crystal sniffles. Well, of course. Oh, fuck yeah. Then, which is not capitalized, uh, Cinder began to s speed up. This caused Crystal to moan louder. Not too loud for Bright. This is all it's going to do for the next few chapters, isn't it? With all these ladies, huh? It's all it's going to be. Jesus Christ. But not too loud for Bright to hear. The two met their mouths with one another. Cinder felt as if playing tonsil hockey with. Fuck is tonsil hockey. I've never heard of that one before. Cat and Flower smile even Cat and Flower smile even Ember at the sight of this. Comma after smile, come on my dude. The two released eventually for air and Cinder let Crystal's breast go. Very sweet, Cat said happy at the sight of this moment. Nice lovers, Flower said. It's super fucking weird. Crystal got up enough to wipe. Got up. This is physically very easy to read. Crystal got up enough to wipe dust off her legs. Jesus Christ, how long was she down there? <coughs> that was smooth, I think I'll take a bath. The vixen head to Fox's bathroom. Inside, she turned under hot and cold water on the, on the tub. O on the tub? On the tub, yes. Then checked for bubbles. Ah, yes, give her. It's just bubbles. Fucking hell! Oh! Oh, why do I do this? Cindy and Lemon joined the vixen in the bathroom. Oh, yes, that's not weird at all. Since Crystal was naked already, she got in and helped Cinder and Ember in. I'm questioning the how dragons would wash the. No, fuck it, fuck it. The tub was big enough for three people. What a coincidence. Cinder found a bottle that puts bubbles in a bath. Why, why is it big enough for three people? What the fuck is this fox thing? That puts bubbles in a bath. I believe that's called, um, bubble bath. <laughs> come on, my dude, come on. Oh, oh lady. The dragon has applied the water with the bubbles, applied the water with the bubbles, to make the three more comfortable. It's a fucking, it's a fucking literally, literary masterpiece, this. God damn. I can't believe. I, ca I can't believe. I can't believe. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> I can't believe. Bathing with good friends in a tub with bubbles. Ember said with a smile. Crystal fought up then said, oh, We're only on chapter two. Just as fun as doing it with Fox. Oh, I'm sure it is. Cinder put some bubbles in her hand and rubbed them around her front. Sometimes, me and Sparrow use bubbles for art in, in the tub. Okay. Crystal uses some bubbles to make the Star Fox logo. Pretty neat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Must be some. Formidable bubbles. Uh. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Pretty neat, Crystal and uh, Mind. The girls enjoyed the bath doing some quote unquote bubble art? Uh, yeah, it's in quotes there. Just as Crystal could finish a bubble made of. Fox, they were interrupted by the intercom. Attention all girls in the mansion, meet me and Bright in the cafeteria in the mansion for dinner and a meeting. It was Hargo's voice, I don't know so. The crystal got out as Cinder and Ember followed. The vixen wiggled herself around to get the water off. Okay. She then used the blow dryer to make her fur normal. Alright. The, 
The three came out and saw Cat and Flower discussing their business on Fox's bottom bunk. It's our cue, ladies. Let's get dressed, guys. You refer to the ladies and children, guys? I'm... I'm... No, I'm... I vouch for guys being a... Um, gender neutral thing, but... Weird to just refer to them as ladies and just... Uh, refer to them as guys, and that way, not just man. Crystal says she picked up her flight suit. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, the lilac woman got dressed and the five head out. In the Smash version, the girls enjoyed the food right in the with me. Tell me how big's this dining room. What's best is to stay, even hired army cooks. I panicked for a second because I thought it's left something else. For the mansion's kitchen. Peach, Rosalina, and Daisy shared the table with Zelda and the brewery with no Alright. Serena was on her friends are usually, as usually, had the, as usually? As you usually had their table. Then Bright picked up a microphone, <coughs> which apparently is just there. Alright, stand up, the ladies did. Pray for the Smash's safety. Let's see. The girls put their hands. This is weird that, yeah, I'm saying it this way. The girls put their hands together for some seconds. They sit back down. Okay, Hargrove. Bright gave the microphone to, to Hargrove, and there was a tape near him. Ladies, what you people. What you people are about to hear was received by Master Hand this very morning. <coughs> I'll go put the tape in player next to him and then played it. Emerald says the voice was heard. Okay. My dear Master Hand, last night 36 smashers including Marion Link are now in the possession of the army of the new order. Just make special mention of Marion Link apparently. Unless within the next 16 days, you, Master Hand, and you, Master Hand, and your government pays to us 1 billion Smash coins, the Smashers will die by having their trophies <coughs> broken, the world would hold you responsible. Please understand the exceptions of our terms by arranging for Big Ben to strike in London 8 times at 12 pm tomorrow. London is in this universe? Alright. Oh, then Hargo shuts the player off. <coughs> Bright got the mo microphone and said, Let's get the introductions our way. Away. Oh, heck. Oh god, please do not go through him. My name is Bright Noah, the leader <coughs> leader of White... <sighs> you can time check now. <coughs> leader of the White Base and, the, and Lieutenant of the Earth Federation. In my time as captain, I command amateur teens and kids. That's... Highly questionable. <coughs> One of them was Amaro, Amaro Ray, who piloted the Gundam. And here we go. There's no mention of Gundam. It was Mass Hand's turn. Who's just there, apparently. Good evening, people. I'm Mass Hand. I and Crazy Hand built the Smash Mansion for tournament purposes. I was the one who found the first 12 Smashes. Mario, Link, Dog, Kong, Yoshi, Fox, Alice, Pikachu, Catapulco, Lee, Luigi, Nass, and Jigba. Then it was Hargo's turn. <coughs> then it was Hargo's turn. Evening, evening, ladies, we gathered. I'm Cole Hargrove from the Office of, Sh of Strategic Services, the OSS. FDR formed our branch as a counter to... Let's see. As a counter to Hitler's SS for covert operations behind, behind any lines. What fucking era does this take place in? <coughs> Espionage, sabotage, infiltration, you name it, we do it. They continued. Now I understand how you feel about the kidnap smashers. The boys at OSRD searched this morning to find them but couldn't make heads or tails of them. So that's why me and Bright are forming an all girl task force to counter this evil. <coughs> the ladies go to the field of battle, men stay in HQ giving orders. <sighs> In oh hang on. <coughs> oh, it's a pretty different thought. Uh. <coughs> Sorry. In Peach and Maya's quarters, Princess Peach, Daisy, Rose Luna decided to share Maya's bed since he's in, he was in captivity. Yes, that's the best way to say it. 
The girls stripped off their clothes and got into beds as they apparently squirt to sleep naked. This will be exciting. This will be exciting. We ladies are going to save the world. This will be great. Daisy smiled as she was excited. Yes, that's usually what happened. Originally, the lady laid her head on one of Maya's pillows and said, Alright guys, let's get some rest. Why don't we have a day of training tomorrow? <clears throat> Peach turned to a... Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Can we go one single segment of this goddamn story about fan service? <coughs> Peach turned so her breast was shown to the girls. Now girls, we'll make good lovers like I was with Maya. We'll make... Fuck no. The girls went to sleep. This would be a busy day tomorrow. This would be a busy day tomorrow. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Oh, at least uh, chapter two was shorter than chapter one. Which, uh, <coughs> by default, makes it slightly more bearable. But you know, <coughs> this is a this is a literary masterpiece. You know, it's it's just ah, you know, it's a good thing I do these ahead of time because I wanted these to go out on my birthday. So if I were to, so if for my birthday I were to read these. That would, by default, make it the worst birthday I've ever experienced. <coughs> so, uh... Oh, yeah. It's a good thing I record ahead of time. Mostly because... My answer sucks. <coughs> oh, well. You'll be back here for part three, if you've still got your sanity intact. Which, I don't think I will by then, but... We'll see.